since October of last year, when I made that video asking the question, does it translate to hate? I have been diving into a lot of right-wing thought so I can get an understanding of how they think. I haven't just wanted to assume their positions and their intentions based off of left-wing media. Left-wing media, left-wing pundits, sometimes on social media, just in a number of places that you hear that are on the left, push the notion that the right just hates women, hates gay people, hates black people, that the centerpiece of their whole belief system is hate. But what I've found is that most of them seem to be driven by fear. Sure, there are some people who are driven by hate, but most of it is driven by fear. The fear that everything is going to become even more chaotic, that we're going to have to memorize hundreds of more things just to get along, and the notion that what we thought was our way of life is now considered problematic. That the most crazy people that you see on the left, like the people that you often see on libs of TikTok or You Can't Stop Progress, that they actually represent the majority of the left. And that we need strict order, some sort of strict order to tame the chaos. And when you look at videos from places like You Can't Stop Progress and Libs of TikTok, it would be easy to think that society is falling apart. It's easy to think that insanity and extremism are taking over our institutions. Even if it's just footage of extremist activists who should probably get fired. It especially looks that way when you look at corporate media and social media and Hollywood, which often softly parrot some of the crazier talking points. The truth is, society simply hasn't moved that far. The Overton window has not actually moved that far to the left. But you'd think it has if you pay attention to social media, Hollywood, and, and corporate media in general. And so there's the authoritarian part of the right that really wants to dig its heels into society because they think society is falling apart. They think that the only way to stop this chaos is to become right-wing authoritarians, to start cramming their religion down everyone's throats, claiming that that's what this country was based on, it was founded on, claiming that it's the only answer to our problems, claiming that strict, strong values are the only path to normalcy and order. They don't see it as fascism. They see it as bringing order, as taking the country back, as restoring America. They don't realize how authoritarian they are. They simply don't see it. They just want an end to what they view as creeping chaos. As I said, the Overton window has not moved as far towards that direction as it seems. Corporate media has created a mirage. We really need a more realistic picture of where this country is on a social level. We need a lot more polls being done. We need to push for more realistic goals, rather than try to push the Overton window beyond its boundaries. Because if you try to push the Overton window beyond its boundaries, it will snap back to an earlier period, and that will be very ugly. I don't want to see that happen. What I worry about the most is the rise of right-wing authoritarianism, particularly as it applies to the 2024 election. I worry about the possibility of Trump, but I even more worry about the possibility of Ron DeSantis. We're not going to stop authoritarianism by calling people something that ends in ist or phobic. We must get an actual understanding of their fears so we can even have a chance of trying to alleviate their fears. And yes, as I said, yes, there are some people on the right who are driven by hate. And I don't know what we can, I mean, I don't think there's anything we can do about that. But we can do something about the people who are driven by fear. Well, I, I say we can, but I, I don't actually know how. So, I mean, I, maybe I shouldn't say that we can. How do we alleviate their fears? How do we get everyone to see that the Overton window has not moved as far as it appears? I don't know the answers. I just know that we have a big mess in front of us. I just know that in order to get answers, we have to actually look at the problems. I don't know, but uh, thanks for watching.